welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be about how I take my Instagram pictures and edit them and all sorts of things like that. I get so many questions about how I take my pictures, how I edit them and process them and all of that. So I thought I'd talk you through the process from start to finish, including how I do my makeup for them, how I do my hair, um, what my best tips are, lighting, all of that. So before I start this video, I just wanted to give you guys a little disclaimer. If you're gonna judge, I just feel like that means you're probably quite misinformed about um, the benefits of advertising on social media and as a brand and as a company, how companies need to move with the times. And the reality is nowadays young people and just people in general are spending more time on social media than they are walking the streets and looking at big billboard signs or watching TV and seeing advertisements. It's a really clever way of marketing. So yeah, I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a show into what I do, um, how I plan everything. Obviously, I'm not saying you guys should go and plan everything as meticulously as I plan things. Trips are the best places to start on Instagram because obviously you've got light and better ambiance. I thought I'd show you guys exactly what I do before trips, um, which is planning out outfits. You need to make sure you have the right wardrobe. So making sure you have obviously brightly coloured stuff for me is key. I love brightly coloured stuff. So this is the last day, so I've already shot a lot of this content. Um, but I usually try and choose items that are like really different in colour and style so my pictures aren't the same. Neons, I wore that in an Instagram picture with some Air Force. Um, I've done this one as well, but I've not posted it yet. I've not done this one. Um, spotty stuff, like pattern stuff always does come out well, like colourful. Um, this from Opoly I've already done. Um, I actually did that on the balcony at sunset. Um, this one's from Quiz. What I like about it, it's got like embellishments and it's got some detail on it, um, which will come up obviously really good in a picture. And then this dress from Shein's really nice. It's like a maxi long dress, and I love it because it just adds a new dimension. I mean, it's different to all of those things, and embellishments always look really nice if you're getting a picture at night with flash. I mean, I personally prefer having bright stuff in my pictures just because I think it. Just makes it pop. I love colour. Step two, making sure making sure your apartment or where you're staying is quite picturesque. I'm gonna show you guys around my apartment and the places that I've used here. So we've got this this is really cool. It's a pool on our balcony and we're on the 26th floor. Um, so we overlook like the whole city, which is amazing. Um, got these chairs which I've used a couple of times. The sun actually sets in this direction over here, so it, the sun kind of like goes this way. Um, and there's loads of different places that people don't usually think. So like, I did a picture the other day just in front of these, this plant. Um, I did a picture in this doorway. I always think that curtains work really well. I'm a real lover of the shade. I like to find a nice shady spot that's quite illuminated. So if you look at where the sun is, obviously if I step out here, the sun is going to be bright on my face. Um, so basically, you just go into a shady spot that's kind of in the direction that the sun's facing. Um, usually you find the light can be quite good. Instagram picture getting ready is different to normal getting ready. Um, try and argue with me. Try and argue with me about that. Um, I feel like there's different makeup techniques I use when I'm taking pictures and stuff. Moisturise, using this moisturiser, simple moisturiser. Simple. Spritz my face, it's a bit red with this cucumber mist. Stunning. And then, I take my hair down. So my hair is all completely natural at the moment because I've got all my extensions taken out and I'm hoping to not really I want to grow my hair out to be long and beautiful again like it used to be. I don't get me started on it because it really upsets me. I just get a tan routine to brush. I think this is Ellie's, if I'm honest, um, that she left at my house like a year ago. So I've got it. <laughs> so once it's brushed through, I take some almond oil serum. I use this one from Beauty Works at the moment and just rub it down the length of my hair. 
spray some of this. I've been using this for the past couple of days. It's really good. It's by Bondi Boost. And you spray it on your scalp and it's supposed to help your hair grow. And it also makes my hair feel really soft. So I just kind of use it the whole way. Just yeah, like it's it's silly. She's trying to get silly in it. Oh, That's the room service! Charlie's having a shower. <laughs> Charlie likes to shower my shower. I show the towers, like everyone, like, it's an amazing view. You just look at those people more and more naked showering, and it feels really empowering. And then, heat protection mist. back change robes but if you don't tie your hair up when you're doing your makeup and you just have your hair all over your face like you're a psychopath so I use this beauty elixir as a base it's gonna be a very quick makeup tutorial by the way nothing too detailed I take a little bit of L'Oreal tree match I don't actually know what shade this is and it's got no lid on it then I just take literally like a tiny bit and make that go around my whole face pictures and stuff it, if you go to overboard it really shows up if you're going to be in daylight if you're going to be shooting directly into the sun you've got too much makeup on it just ruins it ruins the look i think in pictures you want to look quite like natural not too natural so if you like your lashes and stuff and your eyeshadows and your winged liner go for it but just for me personally i feel like a natural look goes so much better with photos when you're abroad like I would never normally do like a full face. Not that I even wear loads of makeup now. I used to wear a lot of makeup, but I don't really anymore. Um, I just feel like it doesn't go with the vibe. Like you want to look a bit more fresh face. Big lashes, just no. When you're in the sunshine, your eyes tend to like close because you're trying to look into direct sunlight. I just think with big lashes, just make your eyes look even more closed. Um, if you're gonna wear lashes, wear something natural and long and like a bit wispy. I, if I'm gonna wear lashes, I wear Eyelure corner lashes. They're like literally, they're called accents from Eyelure. Um, that's what I wear. Then I just grab a damp PC blender, just like this. And I use the same, I use the foundation just to go under my eyes slightly and then set with some Barsia Mate setting powder. Okay, so now I'm just gonna use a little bit of bronzer and just bronze my face up because it's looking pretty one dimensional. Oh, um, before I do eyebrows or anything, I just use a bit of highlighter. I don't usually actually use highlight in the UK. This bit of Beauty 3D highlighter palette and I use the Tahiti shade. Um, just because it's like a dark highlighter. You don't want to look too highlighty that you're like, you just don't want it to look too much. You just want it to look nice and naturally glowy. I find that any kind of like micro brow pencil works for me. Um, when you're doing pictures specifically, you don't want your brows to be too strong, otherwise it just looks so unnatural. So I just get a micro pencil and just fill in the gaps lightly like this. And then I just use this um, Rimmel waterproof eye definer, just a brown liner. Um, and I just, I mean, I don't even like liner, but I feel like if I just put mascara and mascara on the bottom, it just looks a bit bland. I need something that's gonna kind of define my eyes a little. Dot it along my lash line, if you can see. very lightly and then I just do literally the same under my eyes a little bit okay so now I just mascara um, I use this one from Giorgio Armani uh, what is it called eyes to kill I just I mean there's no real trick to this part just do a mascara
And then last but not least, lips. I literally just use Vaseline and some lip liner. If you're gonna overline them, make sure you don't overline them like all the way to the edges. Because otherwise it looks really obvious, I think, anyway. Also, um, if you're gonna wear matte lipstick, then don't because your lips will look crusty as hell. Yeah, now I'm gonna quickly go and dry my hair. So guys, Charlie is gonna show you exactly how she takes my Instagram pictures and she's gonna give you a talking guide. Charlie, she's gonna give you a talking guide and show you exactly how we do it. Are you ready? So you're gonna point it as if this is my phone but then talk, okay. talk everyone through it. Okay, so first of all, I'm getting right down on the floor because, um, because there's a shadow right now on Zara. So if I was like, there, there's a shadow, so I need to get like right down. <laughs> so like, if I was up there, then I just feel like it looks really ugly having a shadow on Zara. Sorry, I have a lift because of my crash trip. So right down, right down low. We're straight into the sun. It's like 5 p.m. in Dubai, so. Golden sun hour. Golden. It's upon us. And you just gotta sometimes just sit in weird places. Like, why would I ever normally sit on the floor in a, a formal dress? No, but. Would I lay on the floor? Out here on the patio. No. <laughs> no. But here I am. You do it for the ground. For the ground, you do. And then okay. I just kind of like do a random pose. I'm just sitting here. Yeah, she goes through a number of poses. And I do a number of poses. They're all stunning. <laughs> and I just point out anything that I think could be done better or. I don't know. Mostly perfect, but. And then I also try and like make sure that. I also try and make sure on my Instagram that um, I'm always. I try and do like different positions. So if I've been like standing in a couple, then I'll sit down. Make sure Take a I, seat. I just need to sit somewhere, basically. <laughs> oh, but I'm sweating. I'm really sweating. Oh, let's get back in the aircon. I'm also going to show you guys how I edit my pictures and filter and all that jazz. I use VSCO or Visco. I don't know. Who says this go because there's no I in it? Um, so I'm gonna show you how I do it. It's Charlie, can you please hold L camera? So there's just one I took earlier, exactly where I said on the uh, balcony, um, which is nice. I think it's kind of cute. So what I do is I bring the exposure down ever so slightly just to like, make myself look a little bit more tanned. Then I bring the contrast up a little, maybe it's like 0.5. I'm just doing this very quickly, but I would normally sharpen it, always sharpen it. Give it a little bit of clarity. Yeah, a little bit of clarity there. Bring up the saturation to make myself look more tanned. Can you see how washed out it was before and how much nicer it looks now? Um, and then I go onto the HSL, which changes the colours and if the sky is blue what I'll do is click on the blue and then just really saturate the blue. Can you see how much it's changed? See the thing where you tap. You can see the blue is on a more also you can make a recipe so if I just press the plus button it saves it and remembers it. I've got other recipes that I've done before that I've just saved when I'm doing like if I'm uploading a swipe on Instagram where there's like multiple, um, you can just save the recipe so that every picture has the same recipe. And then save, and then all of my other pictures are in this little album, and yeah, you can like access them, and I use this all the time. So I even used it on a picture of Sam. Ha <laughs> ha, oh, cute. Okay. Stunning. I hope this has helped anyone wondering how to take Instagram pictures. Uh, I know it probably wasn't the best video in the world, because I should have taken my camera around with me a bit more. But, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Um, and yeah, hopefully see you guys again soon on the YouTubes. I'm working on a very secret project that I can't tell you guys what it is. But I basically vlogged it. But I will be able to upload the vlog about my secret project in a couple of weeks. Stay tuned. And um, yeah, hopefully, See you guys back here soon and I'll see you also on the big screen very soon.